I'm Andrew Campbell. I'm the golf professional at the Black Hall Club in Old Lyme, Connecticut, and have been for almost 20 years. I'm also uh, currently the president of the Connecticut Section PGA's Foundation. Howie Friday called and told me I was the golf pro of the year, and a um, big smile came to my face. The first thing I thought of is that my father. Um, he was the golf professional of the year in 1984 in the New England section, and I have his plaque. And I immediately thought of that and um, just made me smile. I'm proud of my achievement. I'm proud of what I do and how I do it. It was great news to, to get that. Um, uh, I'm super proud. Golf was a part of my life um, from a very early age, very much a part of who I am. I think Andrew is definitely someone who has taken what he's learned throughout the traditions of golf and keeping golf as a tradition and the fundamentals the same and growing the game. Um, he loves to teach, he loves to promote junior golf, um, and he genuinely likes to come to work every day. He's probably one of the most unselfish people I've ever met. He always puts his interests aside and is always looking out for everybody at Black Hawk, whether it's junior members, whether it's the women, whether it's the, the older members, it doesn't matter who the member is, uh, he just he just always wants to make their experience better uh, each and every day, and, he, and he's always looking for ways to improve his services. I think Andrew's the best choice for the golf professional of the year. This is how he treats each person with the same level of respect and how many hours he puts in at the Black Hall Club, what he does for the Connecticut section. I've always liked to be involved with um, what I'm doing. I stayed um, with the board of directors on the section for close to 10 years, and it was great. Served on a lot of committees, learned a lot of things not just about the section and how it operates, but the networking was terrific. Um, I really enjoy getting to know the board members. Felt like I wanted to help the foundation out. It's been a great experience. Being able to help golf programs and people in need uh, to grow the game, it's, I don't know that it can get much better than that. The golf industry, not just the game of golf, is part of you know, what raised me and what made me who I am today. What I've learned most about uh, Andrew and his personality, how it, it's very authentic and genuine to the uh, PGA standards for being a golf professional. Not only is he here at work, but at home and with his family. My first jobs outside the family business were very impactful and helpful to get me where I am today. Mark Hartfield was a former boss and a very important person in this whole journey. Uh, he taught me so many things about how to treat people and uh, perspective. I was lucky enough to work for Mark and at Sankety Head Golf Club for five years and then moved down to Marion Golf Club in Philadelphia. Um, I had two wonderful mentors there, Jim Muthing and Scott Nye. Um, and, I, and I really feel like those three guys, in addition to what my father taught me as a younger man, uh, really got me ready to, to succeed as a head pro. Skills that he learned from them morphed them into his own. And now as a head pro, I see that his intention to promote the game of golf. I landed here at Black Hall 20 years ago. I didn't think I'd be here for 20 years, frankly. The first time I played Black Hall was the first time I ever played golf in the state of Connecticut. And so I had a lot of learning to do, but it's just such a wonderful place. And it is such a golf centric place that uh, here I am today and, and loving every every minute of it really. He's extremely skilled at recruiting staff 
especially as uh, assistant pros. Most of them have moved on uh, after his nurturing into other positions. I try to remind my uh, assistants and, and other young golf professionals that get into the business or moving their way up the ladder, so to speak, that um, there isn't a, a more important thing than how you make someone feel. He's incredibly patient. I think that that probably puts a lot of the people he's giving lessons to at ease. My wife Annie is from Philadelphia. We met uh, at Marion when I was working there. Here we are in Connecticut 20 years later and um, she's wonderful, she's funny, and she's super good mom um, to Jack and Jane. They're very, very patient and understanding about the job that I do and the, the weekends that I work in the summer and so supportive. Um, everything I, I do, I, I, I do for them. He does an outstanding job. He loves his job, it's pretty obvious. He goes to work every day with the intention of getting the best out of each day. He's, uh, he just has a passion for the game and the business of the game. If you're lucky enough to be graced with the presence of Andrew, know that you will leave with a smile and a great story. He's a credit to golf and to black golf. We're, we're, we're lucky to have him. He's just one of those guys that you can tell he's doing it because he has a true love for what he does. Congratulations, Andrew, from myself and Jack and Jane. Congratulations, Andrew. Andrew, congratulations. Good job. Andrew, this is very well deserved. Congratulations. Uh, and, and thank you for being the head pro at Black Hall Club.